Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number 14 of my 1987 Donner's Wax Pack Mustard Rookie Card Chase. I've included the link to the video when I crack the first pack. In the video, I explain what I'm chasing. I've also got my nifty checklist out here to show what we pull as we crack all these mustard packs. I've got a handful of cards I've marked off already. As usual, after I crack the pack, I'm gonna choose the best card of the pack. Doesn't mean it has to be a rookie, superstar, or hall of famer. It can be a funny photo, something interesting about the player, or maybe some memory I had of the player from back in the 1980s. Let's get to cracking this pack. Move the checklist out of the way. We have our Roberto Clemente puzzle piece. Getting closer to getting all of them so I can complete the puzzle at the end of all these videos. I think I have three more to go. First up is our rated rookie, Pat Dodson. Dodson had a lot of fanfare when he first came up with the Red Sox, but he just couldn't stick in the major leagues. Next is Mike Laga of the St. Louis Cardinals. Came with the Tigers, moved over to the Cardinals. He had a ton of power, but he couldn't make contact. My favorite memory of Mike Laga is he actually hit a baseball out of Bush Stadium 2, which is a really hard feat to do. Unfortunately, it wasn't a home run, just one long foul ball. Next up is Bryn Smith. Started his career with the Expos, moved on to the Cardinals, and then to the Rockies. On the teams he played for, he was a third or fourth starter. Get around 10 to 13 wins each year. Next up is Jim Clancy. Came with the Blue Jays and spent almost his entire career with the Blue Jays. At the very end, he went to the Astros. Like Bryn Smith, he was a third, fourth guy in your rotation. Next up is Mike Loind who spent time on the 1984 USA Olympics team. Didn't have too much success in the big leagues. Bounced around a little bit. Next up is Bobby Thigpen, closer for the White Sox. For a long time, he held the major league record with the most saves in a single season until K-Rod came along and broke that record. Next up is Lance McCullers, not to be confused with the son Lance McCullers Jr., who pitches for the Astros. This McCullers came up with the Padres and was a relief pitcher, spent some time as a closer. Next up is Tony Phillips, Originally came up with the A's and was a utility infielder. It wasn't until he was in his 30s that he really stuck as a starter and had a little bit of pop in his bat and could hit for high average. Randy O'Neill is our next card. I don't remember much about Randy O'Neill. He bounced around between a couple of teams in the minors. Our next card is Junior Ortiz, catcher with the Pirates. He was blocked by Tony Pena for a number of years, and then when he finally got a starting opportunity, he couldn't really take advantage of that. Mainly was a backup catcher for about 10 years. Next up is Jamie Moyer, pitcher with the Chicago Cubs. Moyer started out his career with the Cubs, and during his 20s, he couldn't get a foothold in the major leagues. It wasn't until he was with the Red Sox that he started to get some success and a little bit of momentum. Eventually pitched all the way until almost 50 and has over 200 career wins. But I think he's underrated and doesn't get a lot of consideration for the Hall of Fame. Next up is Ozzie Virgil, part of a father-son team in major league history, his father, Ozzy Virgil was a major leaguer. Ozzy Virgil was a starting catcher with the Braves for a few years. Casey Candell is actually a mother-son professional baseball combo. His mother was part of the all-women's team back in the World War II era. 
that was made famous by the movie A League of Their Own. Ken Dell came up originally as a starting second baseman, but then spent pretty much his entire career as a utility infielder. Lee Smith, dominant closer with the Cubs, spent a number of years with the Cubs, the Red Sox, the Cardinals, the Reds, the Angels. Hall of Famer, compiled a lot of saves. I believe he is third in career saves. And then Carney Lansford, starting third baseman for a number of years with the A's. Lansford was part of the Oakland A's World Series runs of 1988, 89, and 90. He had a little bit of pop in his bat, but he was mainly known for his defense and decent batting average and on-base percentage. Okay, my favorite card or best card out of the pack, I'm going to go with Jamie Moyer. Moyer is an interesting case in that when he first came up, he had a little bit of success as a rookie with the Cubs, but he really struggled to get traction and a foothold in the major leagues. Bounced around with a few teams, the Rangers, the Cardinals, the Orioles. Eventually moved on to the Mariners and the Phillies. Was able to gain quite a bit of notoriety as a soft tossing lefty. He was able to stick around until he was 49 years old. Moyer definitely had a lot of gritty determination to stick it out and then carve a very successful major league career. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also share with me in the comments what your favorite card or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack the next yellow pack of 1987 Donner's Goodness in my Mustard Rookie Card Chase.